Linda Ward is in our mission control this morning. You've been watching since just about uh, 1 o'clock this morning when this took off from Cape Canaveral. Looks like all systems go so far. Yes, Odysseus, as it is called, headed for the moon. Uh, this is a 70-meter long rocket. I, we have that land, that uh, takeoff again for you there, if we could take a look at that. Uh, this was made by SpaceX, the company Elon Musk. They're lifting off from Kennedy Space Center at about 1 o'clock this morning. Morning, as you say, several minutes later, this is a really key moment. Uh, we're going to see the boosters detach from this rocket, and it's going to propel what looks essentially like uh, an old fashioned British phone booth <laughs> with six legs. That is the piece that is going to eventually land on the moon. Now, this is made. Uh, you can see it there, uh, detaching from the boosters. Uh, this is made by Intuitive Machines. This is a private company out of Houston. So this is going to try and land on the moon's south pole, where uh, scientists believe that they are going to find water. That's going to take about a week. That is the real test here, a successful landing. We know other missions have gotten this far in the past, but failed uh, on the landing. We heard from the program uh, the lead of the program at Johnson Space Center about that tricky landing ahead. So the big thing right now, um, they need to stay focused. Um, space is hard. Small mistakes can doom you. Um, we know they're very talented. They're very well organized. We're really impressed with the, the depth and technical skills of this team, but you have to stay focused. You got to make sure you nail everything and stick the landing. So definitely an important mission and three real major milestones here. The first U.S. landing since Apollo 17 in 1972, the first commercial uh, spacecraft to land on the moon, and also the first time that they've landed in this part of the moon where they think they could find frozen water. You have to stick the landing. You I like that. It kind of really landing. tells you the stakes here. Exactly. <laughs> if it does, if Odysseus is able to do this, what is the payload on board? What kind of technology is there? And what do they hope to learn with that technology? Yeah, so we talked about the hopes that are riding on this, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of other stuff riding on this as well, Heather. NASA paying intuitive machines $118 million to transport some scientific instruments for them. One of them, uh, we'll take a look at that now, it's going to uh, measure how lunar dust is sort of kicked up uh, when it lands. Uh, another, there's a laser retro reflector array, this kind of Star Wars looking thing. That's going to bounce back laser beams uh, from Earth, sort of like reflective strips for navigation. And also some fun, Heather. There's always got to be fun on Absolutely. these things. 125 nice. tiny little moon sculptures made by U.S. Oh. artist Jeff Koons.